Justin, we've just had the international netball tournament down here mm. on the south coast, and we hear that there are some more sports events uh, on the horizon. Just uh, fill us in. Yeah, sure. I mean, it was great news that Netball South Africa brought the event at last minute down to the south coast, and I think it reinforces the sellability of our area for sports tourism in particular. And we've been working very closely with the Margate Sports School. Um, one particular event, which is in its final negotiations, involves a sport called ring ball, which used to be the old korf ball. Uh, that potentially could bring something like 3,500 participants over a week's period, so that's a huge number of bed nights. Furthermore, it is confirmed that the South African Interprovincial Senior Netball is coming to the south coast at the Uga Sport and Measure Centre. And there's also a rugby development uh, event which brings all of the something like 600 top of uh, rural development rugby players down to the south coast too. So collectively, if you're looking at three and a half thousand plus about two thousand uh, from the seniors netball plus another 600, uh, in fact, then for a week each, that turns into a huge number of bed nights that will be sold on the south coast and giving more impetus towards our tourism economy. So, you know, we're certainly getting ourselves more into the, onto the sporting map, and thankfully through some of the initiatives of Margate Sports School and other, and other sports associations, it enhances our calendar, not only from the point of view of arts, culture, music, and also our beach activations, but certainly now profiling the Ugu Sport and Leisure Centre for one, uh, and secondly, then our South Coast as, as a year-round destination for sport. Because as you know, uh, most of these sports are outdoor orientated, and our hinterland, well, not our hinterland, the, right up in the Highfield, it's extremely cold. People find it uncomfortable. They sit there with rugs around them, whereas here they can be sitting in their slops and T-shirts and supporting their loved ones. And those are just participants. So if you factor in the supporters and the families that come with it, there are many, many thousands of people that will be coming as a result of these three events. Yeah, and offhand, when you think about it, uh, we're a rural area. We would consider ourselves as peri-urban, you know, particularly if you look at the location of the Sport and Leisure Centre. Thankfully, we've got the infrastructure, something over something like 17,000 beds on the south coast that can accommodate these events over and above what we accommodate in terms of our holiday makers. So I think we add an advantage. Yes, certainly the metropolitan areas around the country generally take the big slice of the events cake for these type of things. But slowly but surely, we're chipping away at this sort of thing. And once we get the reputation, the sports codes and sports bodies, and we're engaging with them quite a lot, and in fact, we later on in the year going to the Sports and Tourism Exchange exhibition in Durban, particularly for the reason to try and grab these type of participator events rather than licensed events. Yeah, and then the exposure, uh, you know, the television coverage. I mean, with the netball, the past netball tournament, uh, you know, we got massive uh, television coverage. Yeah, no, that certainly is a major selling tool. Uh, going forward, we'd like to possibly get more, uh, should we say, diverse footage of our destination so that if we can put those clips in with the actual broadcast, I think it'll pay a lot more dividends because sometimes, as you appreciate, the cameras are rolling in an indoor sports centre and they're not necessarily focusing on some of our destinations. So if we can build up a, a library of that video footage, maybe with the help of eHousit, um, we can certainly then give it to those particular producers and then certainly do more profiling within the, the, the leisure cell over and beyond the sport itself. Justin, thanks very much. Thanks Thank for your you. time. Thank you.